Tutorial Take your sleeveless top and cut the side seams like this. Lay it open wrong side up and fold over horizontally. The front and back are now the two sleeves. Add a 4 to 6 inch strap at the shoulders. Sew these together. Ta-da! Now you should have this. Take scrap fabric and sew three parallel lines. Now thread ribbon through and tie. Final product. Okay, so here's how to turn that oversized button-up top into a mock corset style top like this one. It was actually hard to fit in two minutes, so I hope this is easy to understand. The first thing you're going to want to do is cut off strips along the bottom of your shirt that are about an inch wide and turn them into straps. It's okay if some of them are short, all you need is one long one. Mine is about 34 inches long. The smaller ones are going to be turned into loops for the side seam. Rehem the bottom of the shirt, then bring it over and lay it flat so you can mark out where you want your loops to be. I gave mine five, about an inch apart. Then you want to seam rip those spots that you made the marks and use your smaller straps to make the loops that go through those little spots. You can make the loops beforehand, I just cut mine as I go. But when you're done, both sides should look something like this. Then all you have to do is lace it up, and you're done. I promise I have videos soon, so follow me on my YouTube for more. Really not that bad. It just needs a little... <laughs> shaping. To the salon! <laughs> Hello and welcome to 20 Second DIYs. Today I decided I was going to make one of those half and half flannels that I've been seeing all of our Pinterest because I'm obsessed with them. So this one was super easy. All I had to do was cut the flannels in half and coincidentally these ones were from the same company. Um, line up the seams and I did a straight stitch and then a zigzag stitch, you know, finish that seam and it was all done. 
I'll follow you into the park Through the jungle, through the dark Girl, I've never loved one like you Boats and boats and waterfalls Alleyways and payphone calls I've been everywhere with you That's true We laugh until we think we'll die Barefoot on a summer night Nothing new is sweeter than with you And in the streets you're running free Like it's only you Jeez, you're something to see oh, Let me come home Hey, what was that one song we listened to in the car? And it went like... How did it go? It was like... But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Maybe you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something Okay, so I just pick out an old bra and then I cover it material. I was deciding between these three. I went with this one and I just pinned it on. So then I'm going to start sewing it all around. And I complete the other side as well. I leave some material hanging and then I cut it off later. And this is what I'm going to sew the bra onto, so it goes around my waist. I have to make sure to sew the sides. I put some trimming on because I like to add details. Then I'm just cutting off the straps. I save them for later, including the clasps in the back. Alright, now it's all pinned it all you just want to iron it down so it stays once the pins are out and this is what it should look like and then you just want to pin it onto your skirt and you also want to make sure you get the seam there you have to close up the seam so you also want to sew that and I'm doing this all on my surgeon machine again and then you're done I'm really glad I made it a second time I'm really happy with how it turned out I think it's super cute This hack seems so wearable and everyone has a take like this, so let's see if this actually works. She ties two shoelaces together and puts it through the top like this. Then put this over your head, cross these and bring them around underneath your arms. Feed this through the bottom, same here, and then just tie this in the back. I literally love it. Here's what the back looks like. Please try it, it's so cute. <coughs> I received